it looks better like this. And I think this this button should be this color. I mean, this is when I was kind of more on the UI and the user interface side than maybe the, the strategy and consulting side. And that's actually what drove me into to what I do now is is I well well how do you know that who have you asked um, who have we tested this on and of course the answer was nobody um, and it was that intuition that we come back to or that believing that actually as, as long as it's okay for me the customers will love it too <laughs> and as we know that's not always the case so yeah that sounds really interesting and that's the really amazing result too that you got for them great thank you um how do you go into like finding things that you know it's going to be long term success versus short term success uh, for an experience that you're building how do you uh, how do you measure that how do you find that the the success of what i've done or yeah what would you work on like uh, just for example a company came to you and said that hey uh, helena you know we want to we are having these problems with our business and it and we feel that it's design problems these are design challenges and we want it to be changed uh, so sometimes we measure success through okay you know, maybe this is a short term success we might mm -hmm. the paradigm may shift or paradigm is shifting and we might have to change it in 4 to 5 months versus something which has a huge longevity that okay you know, this is if if we do this this is going to be uh, that big how do you how do you make that pattern uh, while you are working I think you have to be open to, you have to be flexible. Um, so in terms of, I guess, uh, yeah, I think it depends on the project, certainly. And I also think it depends whether you're working with a service organization or the product organization, because I think it's much more difficult for product organizations to, um, or product businesses, um, because they have much more upfront work to do. But in terms of success, I mean, this is where I, I guess in a way what I do, which is a strategist, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a road mapper as such. Um, I'm not a designer, but I understand. Um, and, I mean, when I say I'm not a designer, I mean, I'm not a, a user interface designer. There are people out there right. who do that way better than I do. Um, but I know what we should be doing at what point in that process. And I think it's really difficult to say because that process depending on who you're working with and the stage that business is at and the specific problem that they've got um is it it was something that we could solve and i say solve i mean maybe we could address in maybe address might be the best term to use not solve because i don't think anything's ever truly solved but it you know addressed in in two months so i'm working with a client at the minute and we're doing quite a specific user journey product it's on one user journey and it's a user journey that they need to absolutely get right because if they don't they're going to lose people it's an app and it's a new app and if we don't get this absolutely right specifically with the user base that they've got they're going to find that the app will be downloaded and a couple of days later it'll be deleted so with that for example that is that to me would be a two month progression it would be a two month success and in these two months that we're working with it now we're doing a series of testing um, we're going into the environment, so we're doing some contextual analysis as well with this particular user group. Um, and so that, I guess, in a way, when we come out of this two months, that would constitute a success because we know more about what it is that this particular user group and age group, how they use their devices and whether they would, they would use a device and whether they would enjoy using this particular app. So success can be i think it's it depends how it's measured within an organization so success might be to let's say one of the larger organizations i work with getting a ux vision or having a group of that ux team or those advocates that I was talking about and actually setting up a vision and i've done this a number of times before with larger clients is getting the right people in the room who bought in who we know are bought into this the idea that design and great design benefits the business and okay we understand that we're going to come together now for an afternoon and we're going to 
think about what our vision is. What is our UX vision? What is our what are our 10 statements? What is it that's going to drive us towards that vision? Or even a step up the UX maturity stage, for example. So I think success is it, 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 it's it's like this. It very much depends on what it is. A startup, for example, a two week going out and doing a, a, a customer survey is success to them. That's something that they mm -hmm. achieve doing a competitive analysis and saying, OK, you know what? I didn't put my head in the sand and I've gone out and I've found out that, yes, there are other people doing this in my market, but I've got an idea and I think I can do something a little different, or a little bit better. That constitutes success. Whereas one of my clients I've worked on and off with for the last four years, and we're still working towards success because what does success look like? I think it's subjective and, um, you know, we're still working on it. 